The Taurus cruise missile is one of the most lethal weapons if you want to penetrate a bunker that was previously thought impenetrable. It's also capable of hitting a wide range of other targets. Its design lends itself to digging into underground fortresses and taking them out in a simple yet subtly sophisticated way. In this video, we're going to look at how the weapon does this and how it's being used around the world. The Taurus Kinetic Energy Penetration Destroyer, or KEPD-350, is a long-range air-to-surface missile developed and manufactured by the German-based company Taurus Systems. This company is made up of a joint venture between LFK Lenkflug Corpor System and Saab Bofors Dynamics. This makes the project a German and Swedish collaboration. The German Federal Office for Defense Technology and Procurement asked Taurus Systems to develop a high-precision, standoff-guided missile system in 1998. Three years later, successful tests on the image-assisted navigation system of Taurus KEPD-350 were carried out in the summer of 2001. Taurus Systems then performed free-flight tests on the missile system at the Denel Overberg Test Range in South Africa in the winter of the following year. The test was led by Wehrtechnische Dienststelle 61 and the German Air Force. Following the success of these tests, production of Taurus KEPD-350 missiles began in 2004. This air-to-ground guided missile system has an overall weight of 1.4 tons. It's 16.7 feet long with a wingspan of 6.7 feet and a diameter of 3.5 feet. It falls under the Missile Technology Control Regime's Category 2 weaponry. The Taurus has modular sections which can be adjusted based on the individual missions. The electronic systems of the missile are also modular. This modular design and added reliability reduce the life cycle cost of the system. Aerospace company APCON has supplied the missile seeker electronics. The Taurus missile is operational for day and night and all-weather deployment. It has low observability and terrain masking features that make it less detectable and more likely to survive. The missile carries around 481 kilograms of inert, multi-effect penetrator, high-sophisticated and target-optimized dual-stage warhead system for world-leading target penetration. The ignition system of the warhead is based on a programmable intelligent multipurpose fuse. The programmable fuse has been fitted with layer counting and void sensing technology. The blast and fragmentation failsafe control the collateral damage to civilians near the target. The standoff and precision capabilities of the missile and its deployment range of more than 350 kilometers give maximum safety to the aircraft and crew that launched the missile. The way in which the Taurus is launched is that mission planners program the missile with the target, air defense locations, and plan ground path. After that, the missile uses a low terrain hugging flight path guided by an inertial navigation system, image based navigation, terrain reference navigation, and GPS to the proximity of the target. Even without GPS, the missile is still capable of navigating over very long distances. The missile then starts a bunt or climb maneuver to an altitude deemed to achieve the best probability of finding the target and penetrating it. During the cruise flight, a high-resolution infrared homing camera can support navigation. The missile attempts to match a camera image with the planned 3D target model and, if it can't, it uses the other navigation systems or, if there is a high risk of unintended damage, it will change course to a pre-designated crash point instead of risking innocent lives. Taurus KEPD-350 is powered by a Williams P8300-15 turbofan engine. This gives the missile a cruise speed of about Mach 0.6 to 0.95 at very low altitudes. The missile has a range of up to 270 nautical miles, which is about 15% more than ones propelled with JP-10 fuel. With its dual-stage warhead system, the first part has been built to smash through hard or deeply buried targets. Then the second produces fragmentation damage at a specific level of a building or bunker. This is due to what Taurus says is the world's only multi-programmable fuse. The missile has been very popular around the world. Spain received about 43 Taurus missiles through the contractor center. This order for the Spanish Air Force was placed in late 2004 and deliveries were completed by August of 2010. The missile was then integrated with EF-18 multi-role combat aircraft. The Taurus KEPD-350 has also been proposed as the suitable air-launched high-precision standoff cruise missile for the Indian Air Force's Sukhoi Su-30 Mark I fighter aircraft. 
Other possible countries that have expressed an interest in the missile include Australia, Canada, and Sweden. In 2016, South Korea's Air Force deployed air-to-ground Taurus-class missiles for the first time for combat use. These were purchased to target and destroy North Korea's nuclear and missile facilities at a long distance. The Taurus missile is mounted on F-15K fighter planes and can hit key facilities in Pyongyang from the sky over Daejeon, 164 kilometers south of Seoul. This is due to the huge range that the missile has, which we mentioned earlier in the video. Now, the missiles have been sent to Ukraine to help with the conflict there. As they are renowned for their stealth and accuracy, the 350 are seen as a valuable addition to Ukraine's military arsenal. As they are capable of flying at low altitudes and evading radar detection, these missiles are particularly suited to the challenging warfare landscape in Ukraine. This offers the potential for surprise attacks against well-defended Russian targets. They could also conduct long-range precision strikes deep into enemy territory, disrupting key installations and command centers. The Taurus KEPD-350 missile represents a significant operational advantage for the Ukrainian armed forces. Its operational range, in excess of 500 kilometers, is a key feature that allows Ukrainian forces to hit targets from a safe distance, well beyond the reach of most enemy air defenses. This capability is crucial in modern warfare, where minimizing risk to aircraft and crew is a huge requirement. The missile's navigation system we mentioned earlier is another aspect that sets it apart. The inertial navigation system, alongside image-based and terrain reference sensors, will be crucial. This multifaceted approach ensures highly accurate targeting, even with jammed GPS signals. In a conflict like Ukraine's, where electronic warfare and signal jamming are widespread, a GPS-independent system is invaluable. Add to this the fact that it has been designed for hard and deeply buried targets, with blast fragmentation effects for area targets, which makes it highly versatile. This is particularly relevant for striking a range of targets, from fortified bunkers to larger area targets. The missile's unique layer-counting fuse technology allows for detonation at pre-selected levels within a target structure. This improves effectiveness against multi-layered defense systems as the Russians are expected to have. What do you think about the Taurus cruise missile? Let us know in the comments, and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Spotlight for more. Thanks for watching.